Okay, so the Ducati 450 Cafe Racer is back to life. I spent some time and put in a new set of points and a new condenser. I got a new 6 volt battery for it and spent quite a bit of time on the setup uh, with these motorcycles. There is no top dead center mark anywhere on the flywheel, so you have to use a piston stop tool and a degree wheel and get it set up that way. But it's all been done and uh, the results have been good. I'm using the Scrambler gas tank I have for this bike and it does have a Amol carburetor on it. But let us See if it will start. It's cold, but it's been starting really, really well. Basically, you turn the key on, and you tickle the carburetor until it drips once. And there's a drip. Now, the thing about these single cylinder large displacement bikes that you kickstart. They're, they're kind of a monster. This has a decompression lever. And what you do is you, you kick it to top dead center, you push it past that, and then you kick it from there. Oops. <laughs> and you have to be committed because it's got lots of compression. I bought this bike and it turns out it was 10 years ago I was told that it was a freshly rebuilt motor and it completely acts like it it's a very tight motor um, it makes no smoke at all there's <laughs> I was amazed when I started it and there was just no blue smoke no nothing there's no rattles there's no odd sounds it really is just a tight fresh motor and uh, you can see when you kickstart it uh, <laughs> it's uh, a little bit of work, but the good news is it really starts well and runs better than it did when I bought it because I believe the ignition was way too advanced. So anyway, there it is, Ducati 450. It lives!